You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everyone, I'm Rene Ritchie. I'm Sean Captain. And this is CES Live, and we're continuing our UHD 4K extravaganza. That's, uh, that's growing on me, that word. That is coined. it? I, no, it's right. growing on me. Hashtag I think it. Someone hashtag like it. it. You can get the Twitter ownership credit. It'll right use up now. almost 140 characters, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> yes. yes so we are it. talking to Brent from Sony. Brent, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, you, you brought your, I don't know how to feel about this, you brought your own cameras, it's so meta. <laughs> well, uh, you have to bring everything everywhere you go. I, like the, based on the quality rumors I've heard of this camera, I'm going to need better makeup. Well, <laughs> it's true, you might need better makeup, but everything will look so fantastic. No one's going to be looking at me. <laughs> exactly. Wow, check out that person three blocks down. <laughs> so, um, you know, we talk a lot about 4K. Oh, where can I get 4K? Nobody's making 4K. Oh, it's mm -hmm. only one show on Netflix. But I think <laughs> what people forget is that you can make your own 4K. Absolutely, even uh, right now, if you have any eight megapixel pictures, the greatest thing to do when you get a 4K TV is dig out your pictures and put them on a stick and watch them on the TV because they look fantastic. We have our new 4K Ultra Slim 900C that everybody's been talking about and that's the first thing you should do is get your own pictures and look at it. But you can also do your own videos and the, the first product I have here is our new AX33 and this is a uh, 4K Handycam and what's great here is we've got what we call a Boss Optical Steady Shot. And I'll just move it back and forth. Amazing. Let me get in there, turn a little bit more towards the light because it's really amazing. Yeah, okay. okay. So as we move, what you'll see is the lens is moving independently of the housing of the camera. It looks intelligent. It's yeah. very <laughs> intelligent. So what we've done is we put the lens and the sensor, everything in line and suspended it in the camera. That way when you're shooting 4K, we have a current 4K camera, you have to shoot like a pro. You got to be steady, yes. you got to frame your shots, you got to do all that. This is much more for, you know, if you want to get the it's kids playing right? sports, <laughs> right? Yeah, you can do it handheld and you're able to, you know, as I'm looking through the camera here, I'm perfectly steady on the viewfinder even though I'm not with my hands. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that's really important. Actually, that would be cool. Can we turn that around, actually? Yeah. See if we can take a photo of if this screen, becomes an exception, I will kick. I'm just giving you guys <laughs> that, with that, with that warning. <laughs> can you right. shake it something more? To spin. Can you shake the camera more? I hope you can. Yeah. You all can enjoy that because it's amazing. Like this, barely moving the image that's on the screen. And and so that's that's one of the technologies that really enables 4K to be used by everybody. The other piece here is we use the XAVCS codec. That sounds and, good. And what that is is it's a higher bit rate codec. It reads all the data off the uh, sensor at once. Instead of going from one pixel to the next, it'll read each row at a time. So it's kind of like parallel, mm -hmm. and you can go right to the card, and that gives you the option of having a better data through the camera. So, so the codec, like if people are just watching, the codec is what lets you take massive amounts of data and make them small enough to actually do something with, right? Right, and so for, for the people who like the numbers, it's a 50 megabit per second codec. You mm -hmm. can turn it up and down, but that's what really gives you the detail. And when you're doing things like, you know, your kid's sports day or something with a lot of motion in it, uh, you're going to get the crisp detail, no artifacts, all that the kind of stuff. The chat room wants me to ask you about an SDI version of this camera. I don't know what that means. I'm going to look like I do. So <laughs> we have professional 4K cameras that shoot in every format, a lot of different frame rates. The uh, Cine Alta, the 55 and 65, uh, are used in production right now. So when you're talking about the things you watch on Netflix, like Breaking Bad or some of the yes. other shows, mm -hmm. the Goldberg, some of the other ones, they're all shot with those kind of cameras. And the thing about 4K is creators are loving the format. So people say, well, where's the content? Mm -hmm. Everyone who makes content loves the idea of doing what they're doing in 4K. And so that really has uh, jump-started. And when you look at the transitions, this one's been very quick. We had our first 4K TV, and within a year we had our first 4K Handycams. And now you know right. we have three models, and as we move on, we're going to talk about the action cam one. Now, so it's uh, really good. How Can I afford this? How much is this going this for? This one's going to be $1,100. Okay. So it's, it, for people who want to shoot My video. My first 20 handy cam cost that. <laughs> it's crazy. Cost a little more. <laughs> 640 by 480. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and what's great about it is it's, even if you're shooting in 2K, a regular um, high definition, uh, it does a fantastic job because it's going from the mm -hmm. big sensor and shrinking it down. So everything's sharper. When I was talking about shooting sports, the nice thing is you can edit it in if you're far away and then you can, in the editor, yeah. you can just zoom in and 
there's your kid scoring the goal. I think people forget basket. that. They think of 4K as 4K, but a lot of people use a down sample to really nice 1080p or to crop right. down to get the part that really matters to them from a larger, because they're just not close enough or, yeah. or something else they need. Yeah, and we've seen this before in high definition. When we went to high definition, people who were still making DVDs were shooting yeah. in high def cameras. And, yeah. and so it's something we've seen before and with okay. the experience we've had, it's just a great result. So you said you had another camera to show us. I do, and this is the new Sony 4K action cam. I'm going to take it out of its waterproof housing here. Um, it will sell for around 529, and it's a unit that's pretty much exactly the physical same size of our 2K models, mm -hmm. but being 4K, again, you get that higher clarity, and we actually double the bit rate to 100 megabits per second on this because most people are always moving. You've got it yeah. on your bike. You're running through yeah. the forest. You're you're doing all kinds of crazy things. Well, thanks things to YouTube, everyone's always moving. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I hear you gave some some uh, skateboarder guy. This yeah. To, to play Tony Hawk with. is uh, taking some this around. Yeah. <laughs> and he's uh, if dude. you check it out on YouTube, he's, he took it skiing, surfing, and the detail, especially when you look at those sports. You've got trees and nature, and that stuff goes flying by. It looks crisp and beautiful. And as I was saying before, when you're looking at using it in 2K. What's great is these cameras shoot super slow-mo, so nice. they have to downsize the resolution to do that. So this one, because it's a 4K camera, will do a 2K full high definition, 120 progressive frames a second slow-mo. So super high quality slow-mo for that moment when you actually get the trick away. So you, and you can analyze exactly why you wiped out yes. on, the, on the slopes. It, over and over again. That People was are the doing spot. That. They're actually <laughs> yeah. uh, using this to work on tricks and they'll they'll use multiple ones now. Mm -hmm. There's also an option that comes with a, a wrist control that's got a little viewfinder on it. Oh. And you can control up to five cameras. And you can wow. mix and match. You'll be able to mix and match the ha regular handy cams, this camera, 2K camera, and start and stop and control them from lie. your wrist. I kind of want to strap one to every limb and just jump off something. <laughs> well, it, that's the fun part is when you're starting to look at more than one because then you can edit up some really wild footage and, and they're not as expensive as they used to be and they're super durable. As it is, it's a splash proof design, so if you have it out on your bike or on your head and it starts to rain, you're fine. You don't mm -hmm. have to put it in the, the Submariner case just to get out and what's great is then you get the better sound. And we put some software wind noise uh, reduction in there mm -hmm. and if you're shooting in 2K on a drone, because of that um, drone. down sampling, drones. I like the sound wants of that. Drone. Yeah. I'm thinking I need well, one so, no, first, Hold on a second. You, uh, you just, in the, in the span of a minute, name dropped a Submariner case and a drone. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. You have to go from uh, the top to the bottom. Mariana <laughs> Trench to Everest. You <laughs> were, uh, when you look on YouTube and search out stuff, I, I always do it You know, every week, see what people are putting up there. There was a kid who did a, because uh, there's GPS in this as well, there was a kid who did a balloon and sent the camera up into the atmosphere is his science pro grade 11 science project, Whoa. and then then took the footage back and had it time lapse as it flew all over the state he was in. And so people use these for all kinds of all kinds of things. And this you is get where you're getting your your cool 4K content, yeah. America. You don't have to wait for it. And when it's your own, you really want to watch it. And and that's one of the things that's great with the TVs and the new Android operating system. We've really re-engineered it around getting the content both from the internet and from TV, you know, so you're... They're sort of equal citizens now. Exactly, and, and as well as, I'm looking at the Ustream logo in the background there, this also does Ustream uh, over Wi-Fi. Nice. So you can you can set it up to stream directly from the camera. Up, you uh, hear that, David, and get rid of all this stuff and just put tiny little cameras up. Well, so the, <laughs> yeah. the, bandwidth, uh, the bandwidth in terms of how much content you can stream in 4K, we haven't tested that out yet, okay. so I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> So uh, we're approaching a world where, it, uh, everyone used to joke about this, that everyone's going to become a TV producer, a mm -hmm. movie producer, but now we've got, 4K is not this you know, million dollar cobbled together setup anymore, it's in your pocket. You can mm -hmm. throw it into a computer, you can put it up on YouTube, you can create it, you can distribute it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's left, where are we going from here? <laughs> well the thing is, I mean, it always it's about storytelling, right? So there's, you guys have your setup here to do the two cameras and to get the chat. There's some expertise, and just with photography, right? You, some people point the camera and it's magic, and other yes. people point at the camera and it's, well, what is that? I'm <laughs> sorry, I apologize for that before you started. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, the great thing is that it just makes it more accessible for everybody, and so that you can make your high definition content, you'll be able to distribute it online, 
and you'll be able to watch it on all those great sets. So what are, you, what are you using this for personally? Do you have any fun projects you've been doing? So I'm trying to get permission from all the parents to put them on the whole hockey team at once. Oh my gosh. Especially the goalie. Uh -huh. And then I wanted to get a really big puck and put it all <laughs> on so you'd have the puck view level of the game. A resident and hockey setup. player's head just, just picked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that, Dave. Yeah, I just, yeah, well, you know. No, but I mean, that's, that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, and when you said before, multiple cameras, because you can, you could actually almost be inside the game. Yeah, and you can, um, they all sync up with the time code, so it's uh, easy to edit it together. You oh, know, if, you, okay. if you've got that editing kind of sensibility about you, you can really well, put funny, together a great Because the show. software is keeping up with you. We were doing an event in New York City and they gave me three cameras to edit. I'd never done that. Someone told me like in five minutes what to do. I threw it in, the software took care of it. I had a three camera video in, in like mm -hmm. 25 minutes. And, it, and it's fantastic because that's what you're used to. Multiple views, you switch to the action and uh, you can do that now on your own. And when you look at these cameras, you know, this one's $500, but we have a $300 one, and, and there's some entry-level ones. You might get one on sale at, uh, you know, uh, during the holidays. I want to use this for podcasts, <laughs> so I look really good. And then uh, <laughs> um, you're able to do multiple, cam multiple angles. I want to ask something, too. Um, in addition to the action cam, you know, we started with the regular handy cam. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, well, why do you need a camcorder? I've got it on my phone, I've got it on my SLR mm -hmm. or my whatever. Is there, what's, what's the benefit of getting a real, a real camcorder? Re yeah, so there's, there's a couple use cases. Like for me, I'm a parent and uh -huh. the kids do a play. They do a sporting event. I can run the handy cam the entire hockey game. Mm -hmm. I never have to turn it off, right? Yeah. My phone will, someone will call me and it'll <laughs> stop recording or it'll get hot or, you mm -hmm. know, those kinds of things. It's just not made for that long-term shooting. So people who have an application that requires a long video or mm -hmm. even a, a specific location, because with the remote now, you can set these up on a tripod and you can, you can actually remote it with your phone. So you can connect your uh, iPhone or Android phone to this and use it as a viewfinder and remote. Yeah. Oh. And with a lot of our handy cams and cameras, you can do that as well. And you've got nice glass behind it, nice image stabilized. Because the problem with cameras, for me at least, uh, phones, I mean, is there's no de there's no depth. And lenses and mm -hmm. cameras doesn't really want depth. And the phone wants to be thin. Let yeah. the phone be thin. Mm -hmm. Give me a nice deep camera. Yeah, well, I went on uh, vacation a month ago and we took the uh, new RX100 Mark III. And that's a compact camera that's with a great Carl Zeiss lens and a big sensor. That's a lovely, I spent a few weeks with that camera, it was lovely. Yeah, yeah, and so I found that all, I made a little book of it, we went to Disneyland and most of the pictures I took were inside the rides where it's dark. But you get the lighting on the kids' faces and it looks natural and, and it's a really nice picture to have. Yeah, the chat room was joking about Russian da dash cams upgrading to your <laughs> technology. Oh yeah, so this also <laughs> now has a loop mode. So if you wanted to use this as a dash cam, you could do that as well. All right. Awesome, so if people <laughs> want to find out more about all this fabulous stuff, where can they go? Uh, just go to www.sony.ca and we've got everything there. Awesome. Fantastic. I, I, that's easy to find. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. This Thanks. is uh, terrific looking stuff. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Have a good show. Thank you. All right, everyone, so I'm Renee Ritchie. Um, I'm Sean Captain. You are, in fact, Sean Captain. It's I can been a long day, that. yes, it's, all right. As long as someone C knows me. CES brain, we've been getting, it's <laughs> it starts you know, hitting you Monday, and I think by Tuesday you're an automaton. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot more coming your way. We have a panel discussion with John. Uh, we, Callie's doing some more stuff. There might be an Android Central podcast coming up, but we've got a short break. So talk amongst yourself, go visit Sony, find out about all this great technology, and then tune right back in for CES Live.